In this video, we're gonna talk about alternatives to discounting. We're gonna go over three specific things that you can add on that help you to appear more valuable and they actually are more valuable, so you're not going to have to resort to discounting to getting new clients. So if you are somebody who likes to get promotions or do promotions, but you don't want to do discounting, you don't always want to go back to that quick fix of discounting, this is going to be a great video for you. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business, then this is a great place for you to check out. Be sure to subscribe if you want to grow your business. Um, and then also if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below with any questions. So discounting is like a drug and here's what I mean. So if you have uh, a discount and you send it out and you or your clients say awesome and they buy it at a discount, your product or service. And then you say, okay, great, sales picked up. And then they slow down. And so what do you do? You send another discount. And at, oh, after uh, a while over time, you begin to really train and condition your clients and customers to but basically buy things because they know that there's going to be a sale price involved. And it gets even worse if you have competition where you start racing to the bottom, right? So how do you as a brand or a business stand out and what do you do to make it so that you don't need to do discounting every time? It's actually not as complicated as you think. There's three things that we're gonna talk about and there's a lot more than this that you can use, but three things that you can use here to get more for, um, give your clients more, basically make them feel like they're getting more without having to go into discounting. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is status. How can you make your clients and customers feel more special, more important, and give them special status? So if somebody bought something, for example, they get special status and they get special treatment or they get special, you know, something, right? Their card color is different. American Express does this really well. They sell status. People love feeling important. They love feeling like they are treated special. They love feeling like they get extra perks and extra benefits. So whenever you can, if you wanted to have a platinum club or a premium club, something to make your clients and customers feel special. What is it that you could do to really help them to feel like they're above everybody else? And so with that status, you can charge more typically and uh, give generally more status with that. So, you know, that's why people buy Rolls Royces. Rolls Royces aren't, you know, a hundred times better than a Honda Civic, but they just cost that much more, right? Because you're buying status, you're buying a lifestyle and you're able to show everybody, look at what I am able to do, right? So that's the truth. People love showing their status and they'll go a long way to do that. The second item is access. People like to have access to celebrities, they like to have access to special knowledge, they like to have access to special programs. So if you're a super busy person, or let's say you have a brand following, or you have something, right, that is, you know, you're limiting your exposure and your availability, if you can give people access to you, either through like mastermind groups or questions and answers or consulting sessions or a special email list, if they can get special access, again, it makes them feel special, but if you have a brand that's a personal brand and people want to do business with you, they're going to go a lot further, especially if they're seeking you out, if they can get extra access to you and pick your brain for things. So if this is something that you're already doing, right? I think of a lot of veterinarians, for example, who already are constantly asking, answering questions and constantly, you know, responding to messages and stuff. But if you wanted to offer a VIP package to your clients and customers where they would get both status and then also access where they could do a live webinar call or a mastermind group, you know, if you're in business and you're doing business coaching, for example, if you had a mastermind group that met once a month on Zoom and you answered questions, people would feel that that was very valuable. So you can add that as a bonus. If you have a personal brand, like a YouTube channel or something, right? People, especially your followers and fans of your YouTube channel, they like to be, you know, follow you and they're, they're interested in what you're doing. So giving them special access to you, either through like maybe special Facebook groups or private groups or you know whatever it is, Zoom meetings, could be all kinds of things. Just you have to be creative with it. But that access is very, very important and it's also valuable. Now, the third thing that we're gonna talk about is convenience. And convenience is really, really important. People have a limited amount of time. So how can you make things more convenient for them? Give them special drop-off or later pickup or you know hassle-free drop-off. Especially if you have um, a business that's very busy and you're catering to people who are time-limited, 
then it's going to be a lot more beneficial to them, right? It's gonna depend on your target market, but convenience is so, so important. And especially if you're targeting people that have higher income limits and, and levels of income, they're going to find that time convenience so much more valuable. So think about how can you make this more convenient for them? How can you add on features that are going to make something more convenient? And people will pay a ton of money to get convenience because they have a limited amount of time, especially if they're making a lot of money time is a lot more valuable than money, right? Typically only people with lower incomes have the time to spend to, you know, take lots of time. It's really interesting if you think about it, like at the DMV, for example, you never see rich people at the DMV. I don't know what they do to, to avoid the DMV lines, but somehow they, they get out of it, right? It's because they don't want to waste their valuable time with something that is as stupid as sitting in line in the DMV. All right, so those are the three things. We have access, we have convenience we have status what else do you like to use in your upsells and your premium offers how do you build value without discounting i would love to know what some of the things you use are i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the thumbs up button comment below if you have any questions and i'll see you on the next video have a great day